this is just the way we do it. You know, isn't going to necessarily be the best way or the right way for everybody. But when we first started working with the show hounds, we want all we wanted to do was learn how to chase biscuits and be enthusiastic and be accepting of standing on the board, you know, on the AstroTurf, so it didn't feel funny to their feet, wouldn't be a surprise at the show. And now we've accomplished that, so we're taking it to the next step and really honing in and paying more detail to their stance on the board. A lot of times what a hound will do, of course he wants the biscuit, and then they'll rock forward and lean towards you because that's dominant behavior because they want to grab the biscuit. And the problem with that is at a show, then they're not standing square. You know, they're leaning forward and they'll make their shoulder look kind of stuffy or, you know, their back look kind of weak. Or the other thing, they might stand square in front, but they'll stand really wide behind. It makes them look cow hocked. So you want them to bear equal weight on each foot and stand there squarely. Both, both behaviors, the squatting to jump and the leaning forward, are dominant behaviors. So to, to um, train them not to do that, what Jerry instructs us to do is when, one, when I'm standing up and, and a hound is facing me and he starts leaning in to get the biscuit, I walk into his head, I walk across the board, invade his space, and he, he has, either has to get off the board. Or, and, it, and it really works well because all of a sudden I'm the dominant one. I'm the one that gets to dominate the, the space. And eventually, as you can see by the video, they learn to not lean forward and to wait. And that's just what we want them to do at the show. <laughs> he knows to get out of the way now. That's so funny. Before, he would just... Lola would push him out, just walk by him, and he, he would put his shoulder against her, and now he knows that... Some of them, I ne literally have to knock them with my knees as I walk across the board, because they're not getting off. You know, and then after a while, and and some of them just immediately got off. Other ones stay on the board, but they move all around. But they're moving their feet to get out of my way. And some of them get off the board and go away and pout. You know, go sit in a corner or something because it. But you can clearly see it either confuses them, it makes them pout, it makes them angry, because you're taking that dominance away from them. You know, just like a child. You know, all of a sudden, no, you don't get to do that anymore. You have to do it this way. The reaction for some clearly is to, to, to straighten up. What about the ones that go away from you, the ones that go and pout? Well, then you wait, let them go pout, but they get no reward for that. You know, but when they come back to the board, then they get rewarded. So pretty soon they, they figure it out. You know, it may take a while. They might go smell for other biscuits and do all this other stuff. But then eventually every, everyone ends up coming back to the board, standing nicely and say, oh, okay, I get it, and then reward. And then pretty soon they forget about the bad behavior. And then pretty soon they're thinking, oh, if I go back and do this, then she'll give me a reward. You know, so all of a sudden they think they've trained me kind of thing. But this is Jerry Miller's way of, of training. He's, he's great at that, at coming up with innovative ways to, to make hounds behave just right.